so in this video we are going to see or write next uh, cure set of queries so it says write a query to display all employee names and department details whose gender is male so it's continuation of uh, where statement so select star from and we have it was employee name so it's under we know it's under employee db this one emp dot oh, let me do this db dot dbo dot employees again remember it's not case sensitive uh, writing queries so it doesn't matter so I have and again we're gonna go with the three-step approach you can see that this is the one I am getting all the details now next it wants it's to display all employee names and department details whose gender is male so copy this and next we're gonna write where statement where gen this column name gender is equal to male and I can close it so now it should give me all the t it should exclude every uh, every record that's a female so remove this as well let's go and see and uh, here I have everything male but there is another set step involved now it says let's copy this here it says just the employee names and department details so we're gonna get the name and the department name so we're gonna remove the star from here we're gonna type it EMP name and department name that's it now I should just get uh, the column department name and the employee name here that's it so there I have it now let's take a look at this one is right to to display train details where the train name is Hyderabad Express now train was in I believe in Google another student train should be in practice too probably <laughs> now counts course details so practice three is train keep going we'll find it someplace train right there practice three so select statement select star from practice three it's in practice three right there that the database name and strain dot dbo dot train so <clears throat> let's see if I have the details yep I have all the details here now it's it display train details where the train name is Hyderabad Express so I'm gonna name where where train underscore name you can see is equal to hyd exp and we'll see if we have a record there and we do so that's how very easy just two steps write a query to display all the student names from the student table whose student number is greater than 103 this is a very good one so student number I think it should be in practice too I think this is the one uh, course details this one so select star from the
So let's see if I have the correct data here. And I don't. I'm going to go to this one. See if I have it. I do. <coughs> uh, but I don't have the... Oh, it should be in student. See? So it should be a di totally different one that I should be looking in. That is the... student database right here so it should be in Google student let's remove this here so I was in the wrong database it should be student now if I run it I should student numbers right there and I'm golden now we're gonna copy this I, I'm right now in the correct uh, database now it's wants us to display all the student names from the student table whose student number is greater than 103 what we're gonna do is we're gonna write this where statement where s number is greater than 103 now what it should do is what it should do is it should give me there are by visually if we can you know uh, we can tell there are eight records one two three should be gone so it should give me just five records one two three four five six okay six right oh no actually four should be gone and it should give me five records yes i was right so <coughs> let's see if it does we did not remove that semicolon there so right there one two three four so I get the four records excluding the 103 because it will not take the 103 right here we are using the greater than command not greater than equal to so that's why four but now there is one more step involved saying it is very important that you understand the grade it says all the student names just the name so we don't want gender we don't want date of birth we don't want date of joining for that we're gonna remove this star copy paste the exact same query down and say s name that's it now it will give us just the names and we're done finally all player names their total runs where total number of matches is less than 100 so let's see go to the cricket DDB so it will be select so it's a little bit complex visually we matches is less than 100 so we have to see number of matches we, would, we can count them but it will be a lot right going through data it's just 20 records it will take us just a little bit so that's where this uh, commands come handy especially when it's a huge uh, data involving thousands of records so next yeah we want is to all player name their total runs where total number of matches is less than 100 so where is where number of matches less than 100 now it should give me all the, the from this list it should exclude 148 250 196 anything that's less than 100 it should show let's see if it does and you can see it does right now let's go and further uh, enhance it by we are getting all the columns but requirement is just names and total runs so we're gonna copy paste it again here remove the star we're gonna say player names that will be player name comma what's the other column we want total runs so runs right there let's run it and we should get only Two columns right there and it's done so 
I'm gonna pause the, um, I'm gonna uh, end this video here and I will see you in the next one